You might not want to hit your fitness goal. That's something you probably won't hear from many people who are in the fitness industry. A few weeks ago while I was traveling, I had a total epiphany hit me. I scratched this illustration down on a napkin and I want to share it with you today. I promise you that of all the videos I've done in the past, every supplement episode, every gym episode, this video is about to blow all of them out of the water because it talks about something essential to you. Quality of life. With quality of life, we're going to use the y-axis. The x-axis is going to represent your physique caliber. So this all makes sense. Quality of life is here. Physique caliber is here. Let's suppose your quality of life is measured on a 10 scale. 10 being the best possible quality of life. Zero being literally miserable to not living. Let's cover the first extreme. This represents being morbidly obese or being unhealthy to the point where you're actually hindered. You can't do day-to-day -day activities. You're unhealthy as it gets and you're very unhappy with your life. So your physique caliber is poor and the quality of your life is also poor. I wanna go from one extreme to the other. When you have a competition physique, you're around 5% body fat, you're absolutely peeled and shredded, your diet is completely clean, you probably cut the carbs. This represents being on the stage. You have an elite physique at this point and you're hitting the competitor stage. Notice something about these two extremes. You are just as unhappy and actually just as unhealthy. A lot of people will see a bikini competitor or a bodybuilder or a men's physique competitor and think, wow, that must be the healthiest guy in the world. He's absolutely shredded. The truth of the matter is they're not healthy at all. A lot of the competitors actually use dangerous drugs to get to the point that they're at. Regardless of whether they're using dangerous drugs or not, their diet is completely crashed out and it's unhealthy. When you step on the stage, you're actually at your sickest. I have trained so many competitors and I've competed myself and I've been that person. It is not a pretty place to be. Now I want you to think of the quality of life in this situation as a bell curve. It goes up and it goes back down. Meaning the happiest you can possibly be is somewhere in this zone. So let's talk about that for a second because I'll tell you right now, I'm not in that zone. I'm somewhere over here in this area. We'll come back to me in a second and I'll explain to you why this area is so bad. I want to call this the fitness pinnacle. This is where things are good. This is where you have a lot of wiggle room. You can go out to dinner with your friends and not worry about counting those carbs. Your diet here is really clean. You eat a lot of clean meals throughout your day. You stay very healthy, but you're not really going to sweat having that beer with friends. You're not going to worry about staying out a little extra late and maybe having some pizza at night. You're going to do things that are going to grow your personality and also going to grow your brain. Here you have something very, very, very important. It's important for life. You've got this. Balance. That is why this area is so important. It lets you truly be flexible enough to live a very happy life. You may not have magazine abs in the balance sector. You may not have 20 inch arms, but what you do have is more time with your friends, more time with your kids, more time with your pets, more time to go on vacations and not have to worry about packing your meals and eating on a very specific time schedule like you do down here. Another thing about being down in this area Every single little thing you do affects your physique. If you go out to the beach and you see the most shredded guy or girl, here's a little secret. If they're having alcohol, trust me when I tell you they're sweating about it. They're thinking about the damage they're doing to their physique and they are doing damage to their physique. If they have a slice of pizza, you can actually see it sitting in their stomach because they're at such a low body fat. Their whole body can get a term we call flat in the fitness industry by taking in some extra carbs. It's nowhere to be psychologically either because you're living for yourself self. It's a very selfish place to be. You cannot possibly do all your own meal preps and everything else when you're at that level. Trust me, I have been there. And it is not a happy place or a psychologically sound place to be at all. So as we climb back up toward the fitness pinnacle in the balance sector, I'm here. I have to be more disciplined. I have to remain more disciplined on my diet. I have to remain more consistent because in line for what I do for a career, I'm a fitness coach. This is my job. So I live in a much more disciplined area. I can't just go grab that that drink that I want. I can't just go sit down and have four beers and a piece of pizza in peace with some relatives. And that's why this entire equation came 
from me sitting at a table with a napkin realizing the happiness zone, realizing where balance is. So what I want you to do is think about your physique and think about your fitness goals as a much deeper concept of life. You live in the balance zone and you live right. We only get one shot here. This is our time. This is our time to bridge connections, build our personality, build our knowledge. And if you're here and you're here, you're not doing either one of those. You might say, Ryan, I really want an elite physique. I wanna hit the stage. I want those ridiculously shredded magazine abs. Or how about my ladies? You want the abs too, you wanna to push it to the limit. I hear you, I respect that, I've been there. I just want you to understand what it's going to take to get there, what you're going to have to sacrifice to be there. Can I get you there? Absolutely, I can get you there. This is my job. As I mentioned, I can get people from anywhere on the spectrum to where they wanna be. So what this demonstration is about is actually having you realize where you might wanna be because a lot of people don't understand what going into that sector actually takes, the type of discipline. And another thing, what are you actually gonna get out of here? Because not everybody that gets there is even guaranteed a sponsorship or anything else. So what I'm asking you to do is think hard about the balance sector. Because at the end of the day, fitness is not about the extremes. Fitness is about living here, having a balanced life, learning, growing your personality, getting out of the house, doing things that you want to do in life, hitting your goals that also don't involve being completely ripped and shredded. And the final most important concept I want you to take from this presentation is that life is not all about you and your physical appearance. Life is not about the way you look, period. Life is about the connections that you bridge with others and what you can give back and what you can do for the people that you love and care about. Keep your diet clean most of the time. Enjoy a beer some of the time. Try new things, live adventurous, and do everything in moderation. I'm Ryan Engel, founder of RE Fitness. I wanna thank you for watching this presentation. I wanna thank you for the like, comment, share, following my brand. Remember, if you wanna to get to anywhere on this spectrum, I am more than happy to help you get there with my coaching. And I'm also highly trained and well-versed in the art of living here in the balance zone. I sincerely hope this video has given you some clarity and helped you understand the bell curve of fitness and the quality of life. Thanks for watching.